Hey, <laughs> Tony here, uh, Random Adventures. Oh, went too far. 2.0, where are we at and what are we doing? Well, where we're at, we're in the mountain. What are we doing? Well, hey, we're hammock camping. I'm heading on down this little trail here. Uh, but man, look at that view. That's incredible. So this is a big drop off right over here and you can see the ridge on the other side. So this is kind of like an overlook but it wouldn't be an overlook if there was leaves on the trees. We wouldn't see that. This time of the year is pretty cool uh, because you get more views than you typically would. Uh, look at the snow melting and that moss right there. Oh, wow. All right, well, enough talking. Let's get to camping. All right, let's head down the trail. Yeah, this uh, trail here, Oh, there's a little bit of footprints right there. So I do have the game cam with me, so we're going to use that as well. You're navigating these rocks sticking out of the snow. If they're sticking up, I can see them, but if they're under the snow, I can't really see them. Uh, so this spot here, I was actually in the woods yesterday uh, before we went Sunday Night Live, and I found this spot. And I liked it <laughs> and I wasn't sure how I was feeling or gonna feel today but I was packing up in the studio yesterday and I'm like I got to get out while the snow's still on the ground and I thought why not do a hammock camp so that's what we're gonna do um, like I said I was found this spot yesterday I found one other one but I like this one better it sits down in uh, so I got background there. I got a view of the mountain on the other side. Yeah, so I'm thinking of using this tree right over here. I think. No, I'm, I'm going to use this one. And then the, this one right here. Let me hit it with my, this one. And then uh, that one right over there, I believe. Yeah, so we do have the sun. It's getting lower. It's a, it's about maybe four o'clock. So we're gonna lose light around. It's getting darker later and later. So we have some time, uh, maybe about two hours total till it's dusk, but it does set down over that mountain right over there. Um, but yeah, let me get this backpack off. So I don't wanna set the backpack in the snow. May I find, oh, maybe that rock right back there. I'll take it off and put it on this rock. Ooh, look at that rock. It's all dry. <laughs> That's good. I'll lay it right down like that. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so we got to get our hammock out. But first, I'm going to set up a tarp. Uh, do I want to set up a tarp? Uh, I think so. Just not sure. I think it's supposed to rain overnight a little bit. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and set the tarp up. So that's the first thing we got to do. Let's get our ridge line out and get that up. Now, this is a little bit of an incline here. So... It's not the greatest spot for the hammock, but I like it because <laughs> the other trees are just a little too far. I just got to watch stepping up and down on here. Ooh, so there's a little hole right there. I'm gonna stomp the snow down. All right, okay. Give this an untwist. These, these trees I can reach around pretty good <laughs> this size. Yeah. All right. Let's just pull this around. 
and get it locked in place. Yeah, it should be high enough. All right, so we got some little sticks in the way. Don't want to trip on those. Boy, all the sticks uh, that are down in the snow, I mean, they're soaked. Oh, there's a long one buried. Okay. I just clean up the area just a little bit. I don't, I don't want to throw that over there. It looks too pretty <laughs> in the snow. I'll just carry this over here and get rid of it over here. Yeah. Here's a couple sticks. Just put that over there. Maybe that'll dry for another time that I come up here. There's a couple, couple. Get these out of the way. Yeah. All right. These are just small ones. Yeah. You know, I like to look around and make sure there's nothing eye level that can poke you in the eye as you walk around at night. I always want to clear that spot. So the next thing we want to do is get our tarp out. So this this is the 55 Athier um, backpack uh, by Osprey. So I kept the um, ridge line up in the top here, but we're gonna unclip the flap and we're gonna pull our tarp out. Yeah, I'm trying not to get my bag in the snow and I'm doing a good job of it, but do I, you know what? Let me get that ground cloth out so I can set the backpack on it. I, I keep that on the top up here and the other side. So on the Osprey, you got two pouches and this is in the other one here. So this is the, uh, it's like a ground cloth, but it's also, you can, it opens up pretty big and you can stick your backpack inside of it if it's raining. Now, I just looked, it's not supposed to rain, but you can never trust that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out and just throw my backpack on this because I can stand it up against the tree. Ah, maybe the one behind me here. So it, it does have a zipper that goes the, on three sides of it. So you can unzip it and open it up real big and it does have places you can stake it down to the ground. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, ooh, don't wanna fall over my backpack. I'm just gonna lay it there just to keep the bottom of the backpack dry so we can pull our stuff out of the top. Oh, there we go. Oh, knock my trekking poles down. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's get our tarp up next. Well, that snow is a little slippery. So we just got uh, Prusik knots on there. We're gonna hook our carabiners to. The carabiners on the end of the tarp. And we're just gonna walk it on out. I guess I gotta open it, the bag. <laughs> yeah. Come on, there we go. And then... One, once, it, if you leave the Prusik knots about where you take the tarp down from, you can get them pretty close every time. So that's one of the nice things. You clip that on there, there we go. So I'm just gonna pull it this way, get it nice and taut. Okay, that's looking good. Now I just gotta go around and stake the Stake it down. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I can't see the log that's underneath here, but there's a log right there. I just got to be very careful I don't slip on that like I did last year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, guy lines. Next. There's our tarp. So we're tied to that tree right over there. You can see the top of the tarp. I did put a little carabiner clip on the top there in the middle of the ridge line just to keep it up a little bit more. Then in that corner, we'll run over just to a little twig tree. And then again, right over here, 
just do a little twig tree because I didn't have to use any of my ground spikes, which is good because there's a lot of snow right here. So now it's time. Let's get our backpack, <laughs> rest this stuff out of it so we can get to our hammock. Usually I'll put my hammock closer to the top, but the way I packed yesterday, wasn't sure what kind of camping I was going to do. So I got to get the rest of this stuff out of here. So we got our little Trexology table. And then in here, I've got the game cam. So we got to find a place to set this up. So I'm going to lay that to the side because we got to get our hammock up. Oh, and we got our food. Oh, wait till you see what we're having tonight. That's a lot better. All right, so we got the uh, under quilt here. Uh, this is the camping blanket. It's, it actually snaps in uh, right here. So we're just gonna unsnap it and give this a sit. So we got it all unsnapped there, except for the one end there and one end over here. So the hammock is right in the middle. So I'm just going to grab the hammock and the under quilt, give that a pull, push the top blanket back. And <laughs> so, moment of truth. Uh, ooh, that's nice. I think that's set up pretty good. So I might raise it just a little bit. I mean, my feet are touching the ground, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, get a little swing going. Oh, very nice. Yep. <laughs> so we're perfect. So I'm probably going to lay with my head this way because I'll be able to see that way the sun coming up. I think that's going to work. All right. Well, before it gets too dark, I want to get the uh, game cam set up. Not sure where I'm going to do it. I really didn't see any tracks on the way in. I mean, we saw those little, uh, might have been a chipmunk or something, but I'm looking for a bigger trail, and I don't see any. Okay. And to look back at camp, see the sun's getting lower, so we're going to swing around here. Like I said, no tracks in the snow whatsoever. I'm looking around the base of trees. I don't want to just get squirrels. I'd like to get something bigger. But we're going to take a little walk, and then I'll show you where I end up setting it up. We're going to walk back the way we came a little bit, even though I didn't see anything. I never know. So there's a trail right here. It runs along this ridge, and it's pretty far away from camp. I'd say about maybe 50 yards so I'm going to set the camera up right over here. Let me show you that. So I'm right off the trail. You can see it right here. I got it open because I got to set it. Now, in the last time that we did this, we had this on a 10 second delay. Uh, and we have the side sensors that are working. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Powering up. bit on a, of an angle there down the trail so if anything comes that way so we get hurry up and get out of here before it picks us up <laughs> and records us so there's the trail there's our cam over there on that one tree i don't know if it just started recording us but it should only be for 50 seconds and then it'll reset uh yeah it, it's a nice one it does during the day you get color and at night and then we've got 
black and white because it, it will pick up quite a distance too I'm, I'm I'm hoping we catch something all right let's get back down here to camp I didn't take my trekking poles <laughs> because I have both arms and don't got weight on my back so I had uh, the game cam I put this in that in this knit cap kind of just keep it protected from everything in my bag all right well let's get oh, dinner going how about that all right we're gonna cook that over there I think that'll work right there okay it's time to get cooking sun like I said is going <laughs> Well, you can see it's going down. So I used to bring a stool, a camp chair. I still will sometimes. And uh, I, I've got that stool that I use to sit on. Um, I'll still do that sometimes. But lately, <laughs> I've found uh, just sitting in the hammock is nice. Less to pack, one. Uh, but also you can, while food's heating up or something like that you can just lean over this way and <laughs> you don't necessarily have to sit like this all the time so we've got the trexology table right here and uh, I thought I'd go a little old school back to uh, some roots there so I don't think we're gonna need this it's not windy this is a, a wind guard I don't believe we're gonna need this because there's no wind perfect all right so what are we having and how are we cooking it so we are having uh, <laughs> i'll tell you in a second uh because it's in the bag there i want to get this out but all we got to do is heat up some water so i went back to our titanium cup this is a 750 ml titanium cup and inside of it we have our well lighter <laughs> Throw it on the ground. So we've got our, uh, it's like a BRS burner uh, on the top. It's a micro burner, very light. So the whole cook setup is right here. So we got our gas bottle or right there. We, it's got legs that just flip up. And we're just going to heat up water because what are we having? Here's the rest of the cup. <laughs> I'm sure you know what a cup looks like. But we've got the mesh. It all comes packed like that. So this is the complete size of it. And weight-wise, very minimal. So there's a lot of different kinds of hiking and camping. There's those that, you know, bring a lot of stuff because they're not going too far. But most through hikers will use this setup here. If you're going from, you know, point A to point B, and then going from point B to C to D to E and all the way through the alphabet <laughs> if you're going that far. Uh, but if you're not going right back, you're like camping out, like camp in, camp out, like I'm doing overnight. Uh, but this is a great option if you're going distance, uh, very light. All right, so that's what we're cooking with. But like I said, what are we having? Oh, it's in this bag. <laughs> all right, let me pull it out. You can hear some birds. So we're having a rehydrated meal. So this is, oh, what kind is it? Well, it's Farm to Summit. <laughs> this is a great company. This is in uh, Durango, Colorado, uh, but very, uh, very uh, environmentally friendly. And, uh, you know, actually they use very fresh from the farmer's ingredients. So they'll go and they'll collect, you know, blemished or just, you know, overproduction on fruits and vegetables. And then they package it in this pack here that can actually, you know, be, it's biodegradable, combustible. So very cool. What are we having? What is it? Well, let me put it down on the table and you can see it. <laughs> Three bean chili and cornbread. All right, so we just got to add water. There's about 800 calories. Look at that, 39 grams of protein. But this is two servings. So it's three bean chili and cornbread. 
their meals are really cool. So the cornbread's going to be in a separate package. I've never had this one before. So, well, the only thing we got to do is we got to heat up some water in our titanium cup. Let me grab the water. Yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll start the stove and then I'll pour the water. And people were saying, hey, get your stove going first. Yeah. That way you're not wasting gas. That's a great, <laughs> great thing. Yeah, don't want to waste gas. Nope. All right. So we're going to get the lid on. going to let that heat up. And then we're going to add that to our bag. I'm going to open it up and pull out everything that's in there. I want to read the instructions as well. Ooh, we're almost there. Okay, so I just opened it up. It says remove the cornbread. <laughs> Look at that cornbread. Ooh. <clears throat> it's like a crouton right now. So you're supposed to remove the cornbread. Look at that. Two big pieces of cornbread. Here I'm hitting the table like a rock. <laughs> oh, and this is the oxygen absorber. We want to get rid of that. Take that out there. Put that with the other trash. Now this is what it... You can hear me scraping around in here. So this is all dried. Let me let you... You want to see down in there? <laughs> all right, I really get the camera different. Yeah, it's all dried. So we got to rehydrate that, but you can see down in there, kind of, not really. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good look at it. You see the beans in there. So three bean chili. You just got to add our water and give it a stir and then let it sit. Yeah, just looking at the sky. Boy, that looks really nice. We're going to have a good, good color in the sky tonight for our evening. Ooh, we definitely got a boil there. Let's turn that down. Well, actually, all the way off. About 14 ounces of water. Let's get it poured in. I'm going to give it a little pour. Nice stir. Dig down in those corners. And then we're going to seal it up. We're going to hold on to it <laughs> because uh, my hands are a little, little cold. And this is nice and warm. Yeah. So right now it looks a little soupy. Now what you're supposed to do with the cornbread is just to seal it up next. And then let me read this. <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool. So we gave it a seal. So this is what we're supposed to do. So you reseal the bag. And then next step is you're going to stir and reseal. That's what we just did. Uh, then I like this part. This is a cool company. They said uh, marvel at life for the next 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to marvel at life for the next 15 minutes. And let it sit. Okay, well, I'm going to watch the sunset. Yeah, it's a nice sunset. <laughs> looking at the camera and then looking this way, in the camera, it's way lighter than it is over there. It's actually darker over there because the sun's setting over there. So, yeah, it's one thing about lighting <laughs> it doesn't always give you a true effect of what the surrounding is all right so we're gonna give this open oh that smells good mm. okay so we're supposed to drop the <laughs> our little cornbreads in here so i'm gonna drop those in and then we're gonna give it a stir and then submerge the cornbread And then let it sit for two more minutes. While we're waiting for those two minutes, two minutes isn't very long, but 
I've got this ridge light. Uh, this is from Haven. I got it, but um, yeah, I've never had a ridge line light. So it goes from one end to the other. When I was down in Hancon, I saw it. So I got to get a battery bank out and get this hooked up. Maybe I'll do that while I'm waiting. Ah, what do you think? <laughs> That's our ridge light. Look at all that light it gives us. All right, so it's been two minutes. Uh, I'm going to open it up. Oh, yeah, that smells really good. Okay. Ooh, it, well, our cornbread softened up. It definitely did. Okay, so I am going to take a bite of this because I want to taste it before I do something to it. But, oh, look, it's steaming. good farm to summit three bean chili and cornbread that's really good it's got a little bit of kick to it yeah it does so it is spicy most people like spicy yeah, that's got a little bit of spice. Oh, that's good. That's very good. So I did bring Tabasco sauce, just in case. I'm giving it a minute. Because <laughs> I can feel it tickling my throat now. Yeah. Oh, that's got some nice heat to it. It's not too hot. But I do like the flavor of Tabasco. I can I can drink that right off a spoon. Make a teaspoon of that and just drink it. Yeah, that's that's. I don't know if I need Tabasco. Hmm. Oh, very good. <laughs> So that's dinner. Yeah, definitely getting dark. Like I said, in the camera, looks like we got a blue sky. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> but no, the sun's down. It's gone over the mountain. We got a fairy light. I can dim this. Yeah, let's dim it down. So we can dim it down. That'll work out perfect for us. Yeah, it will. Okay. I'm going to finish our chili. Bring it back after a little bit. Yeah, what a good night this is. It's getting down there. That's why I got... I, I had this up over me for a little while. This is uh, the camp blanket. <laughs> it's buttoned on the back side, so I can't pull it, uh, you know, all the way over and it would flop up in the back because it's all snapped to the other side here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's perfect. And then I've got it snapped on the two ends still. And I just, every once in a while, just throw, I don't, this you won't be able to see, but I just throw it over me and I sit in here like this. Stay all nice and warm. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice and cozy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I've got this about half strength. Ooh, how about this? This is the new camp hat. So I finally found the legacy hat, like old camp hat. Uh, but it was blank. I found it blank. Oh, if you don't know what a legacy hat is, look how floppy that is. So this is new camp hat. I took it down got I drew that up and they uh, embossed it right on there they stitched it right in about 5,000 stitches and then I stressed the end, ends <laughs> it doesn't that look cool so it's not old camp hat it's new camp hat uh, and camp hat is going to go in the bag soon and I'm going to get my knit cap on because I can I can feel the back of my head getting cold that's why I had this all the way up here Keep hearing that. 
I'm not sure exactly what it is. I have an idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna get my headlamp on. Maybe we'll take a walk over there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's too far away. I gotta get my other hat on. Uh, I got her other hat on. So this is my North Face. Oh, that's, that's warmer. <laughs> Definitely warmer. I'll get it on there right. There we go. So I grabbed the headlamp. So I'm gonna leave the, the pack over there. I've got my backpack in it. I didn't zip it up just so I can flap it open and grab anything out of there but I keep hearing that noise all right let's go I gotta get my headlamp on all right so I've got my headlamp on it set at the highest setting right there's my bag remember I said I was gonna put my bag in it so my backpack's in there but look at my trekking pole that was just leaning up against the tree oh man I don't know what that is that noise I, I mean I heard it it sounded like it scurried up a tree and if it's what I'm thinking I don't know <laughs> we'll see if we can find it ooh, ooh, ooh. wait there it is just in the tree uh, I don't want it to see me oh right there in the middle what it's a, it, it, it is it's a it's a Tony Chocoloni candy bar <laughs> all right so that's an adult all right that's the big one so they say they climb in trees. Oh, look at the tracks going up to it. Usually if you find one in a tree, I want to tell you, look around. Because sometimes they've got a whole nest. And I don't know if it's, if it's in the rocks. But it's usually not too far away. Oh, wait. I think there it is. Right. Get down. Look. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get them to run. But right there on top of that rock, I think we found the whole nest of Tony Chocolonis. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're tiny to Tony Chocolonis. Look at that. All right. Well, I'm just going to, I'm not going to take them all. I'm just going to take one. All right. Let's get, oh, let's grab that green one. I don't know what kind that is. Oh, I don't think we woke the other ones up. I gotta hide it, so I'm gonna walk by that big one. It doesn't, oh, I'm just gonna get back to camp. Oh, we got dessert. <laughs> so, so we found all oh, Nesta Tony Chocolonis. <laughs> all right. Well, so if you guys know, I, I, I found a Tony Chocoloni uh, candy bar. That's the big one. Uh, I never knew that they were a thing, but they are very good chocolate from Belgium. And um, yeah, when I was down in Florida for HangCon, I had gone to World Market and I saw a whole bag <laughs> of tiny Tony Chocolonis. <laughs> so, so these are little, little guys. Yeah, it's a big candy bar. I gave uh, those away up in New York on on our meetup. Uh, I bought a couple cases of them. Yeah. Oh, here it is. I get a little closer. So here's the little Tony Chocoloni. They're little ones. Imagine that. And we got a whole nest of them. I know right where you're at. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have my Tony Chocoloni. Uh, that's going to be our dessert. Uh, Oh, burr. I was going to have a cup of coffee. Oh, what kind of coffee is that? Ooh. <laughs> I'll show you that in the morning. Because um, I think we'll have coffee in the morning. I am going to have um, breakfast. I got that in this bag here. It is our red bag. Our dry bag. Our red dry bag is breakfast. And I do have the overnight oats. It's the blueberry vanilla. But I'm not going to make them as overnight oats. 
I'm going to, because it says you can eat them cold, do it overnight, or you can do it in the morning. I've had it twice as overnight oats, soaked it, prepped it at night, ate it in the morning. But I want to do it hot. So I want to get up in the morning, we'll heat up some water. It's going to take a little bit more prep time in the morning, uh, but that's okay because we got time. All right, I'm going to eat my Tony Chocoloni. Ooh, there it is. Uh, if, if you want to oh, see this, let me get it out of that thing. Oh, it's a little round disc of chocolate goodness. <laughs> oh, Tony Chocoloni. And I'm just going to eat one. <laughs> I'll let the rest of them over there get bigger. Yeah, I think. catch of the day. Mm. Yum. Very good chocolate. Alright, talk to you later. In a distance, I hear geese. It's getting late. I'm probably going to climb in the hammock. Uh, get nice and warm. My feet feet are the only thing that's cold right now because you know obviously the snow's right there all right well i think it'll be lights out not too long from now yeah oh look how this <laughs> this light illuminates all this yeah and it's not even at the brightest setting let's see what the bright setting That's the brightest setting. Man, that throws a lot of light. Yeah, it does. Very cool. So it's time to crawl in the hammock and go to bed. All right, get ready. Okay. Top quilt pulled all the way back so I can don't sit on it. <laughs> yep. Oh. And pull myself up a little bit this way. So I'm going to swing my feet in. My leg brace got, got caught on the uh, hammock. Now, most of y'all know, some of you don't. I do sleep with my shoes on in the hammock. I know. I, I should take them off. But I do have a leg brace on my right side because of the stroke. And that's just the way I do it. <laughs> All right. So... I think my green light's still on. Yeah, it is. I'll turn that off. Oh, oh we're going. All kind of lights. That's red. One more. There we go. All right. Oh, man, I'm liking this ridge light. I really like that. That's nice. Yeah, so we got... I put the switch up now, up here. So... All we got to do now is say lights out. If nothing happens throughout the night, um, I'll see you in the morning. Okay? Lights out. Ooh, good night. Yeah, a little while ago I heard Canadian geese. So, maybe I'll hear some more. All right, it's about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I just got up for my two to three o'clock nightly call. I'm gonna climb back in the hammock. I just wanted to spin you around and show you how dark it is. Let me let me close the headlamp. That's how dark it is. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what the headlamp. Well, I'll tell you, very peaceful. I heard some noises. I think that's what woke me up. But just noises of the woods. All right, I'm going to climb back in the hammock. Good night.
I'm telling you. <laughs> Good morning. This must be a geese fly through area. <laughs> Uh, I heard them this morning a couple times. I heard it last night when I went to bed, and then again this morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sunrise? Yeah, I've just been laying here for a little while. Before I brought you on, yeah, nice and toasty in, in here. Yeah, that was a good night's sleep. Yes, it was. All right, well. It's time for coffee, and I think we're going to make that uh, blueberry vanilla overnight oats. Delicious oats is the one it is. Yeah. And then it's that different coffee that I've got uh, that I want to show you. Oh, it's over on the table. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a bottle. It's called... Pop and bottle. Lisa and I were out at the grocery store the other morning. No, afternoon. And I saw it. And I was like, oh, hon, look at this. And she's like, oh, get it. And I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. So they had three flavors. I, I did put a link in the description um, in case you wanted to see what it looked like or, you know, read more about it. Uh, but, yeah, this is... Uh, Classic Coffee Super Concentrate makes 16 cups. So it's a bottle of concentrate. And we're going to just heat up some water. We'll pour this in and then, uh, yeah, drink some coffee. We'll see how it is. And then I've got, um, this is Anthony's, Anthony's uh, <laughs> powdered milk. So I've got some powdered milk here that we're going to put in. Well, I'm going to put in. I usually drink it black, but eh, thought I'd dry that. Yeah. Uh, I thought the sun was going to come up over there, <laughs> so um, I had to move the time lapse because it was coming up over there. I thought and it's coming up over there. It just said over there, over there last night. Now it's coming up over there. Oh, would have figured. So I moved it. So we saw a little bit of it. Yeah. All right, well, let me get up. Get the water going. So I'm gonna do enough water for both. Yeah. I said that sun coming up this morning, it's beautiful. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. Little breezy, just a little on the breezy side. But like I said, we're gonna make Enough water for both. Oh, <laughs> well, we got to go get our game cam. So I know we're going to eat that oatmeal hot. So it's delicious oats. Usually you overnight soak them, but you can do both. You can overnight soak and you can uh, add hot water. So we're going to do it with the hot water, but maybe we'll get that going. Uh, get it out of the bag. We'll get that going and then we'll walk and get our game cam. Take a look to see if we got anything. I don't know if we did or not, but it, it was uh, a full moon last uh, this past weekend. But last night, uh, the moon actually was out. Uh, I didn't see it when we went to bed or when I got up at two, I never looked. Um, yeah, but it was, it was out. I woke up a little bit around four o'clock in the morning just for a minute, and the moon was over there. I was gonna try to get a shot of it, but it doesn't pick it up good on the camera, and I already had it set up for a time lapse. So, oh well, <laughs> we got sunrise. Well, part of it. <laughs> You're in birds. Oh, so this delicious, it says to add uh, 11 ounces of boiling water. So that's what I'm going to do. As soon as it boils, I think we're getting close. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of steam, <laughs> but not a boil yet. So add boiling water and then stir it and then seal it for 12 minutes. 
12 minutes, that'll give us enough time to walk up there and get the uh, game cam. A while our oats are soaking <laughs> and cooking. Oh, there's our bag. Did real good overnight. Oh, in the sun. Look at the sun reflection on the snow. That's awesome. All right, so let's go get our game cam and see what we picked up. If we picked anything up. There we are. Ooh, ah, open it up. Turn it off. Well, I checked the game cam and we got absolutely zero. <laughs> so we didn't get anything with a game cam. Oh well, <laughs> maybe next time. All right, so. Uh, it's still steamy. I got enough for a little bit of a coffee, but. It's been 12 minutes, <laughs> at least, since we walked up there and, oh, the oats puffed up. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's warm. Okay, I'm going to give it open. Oh, yeah, that's done. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, I'll get my titanium spoon. Hmm. Okay, now I've had these uh, both cold, but never hot. So I said I've had them both. Uh, I've had them cold, but never, never hot. Ooh. And they're steaming. Look at that. Ah, uh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that's going to be good. That is going to be good. Because I know what they taste like, hot, cold. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Blueberry vanilla is pretty delicious. <laughs> yeah, that, um, I had the chocolate, cherry, cherry chocolate, and then the apple cinnamon. But I was waiting to taste this one. Ah, this has definitely got the 2.0 approval. <laughs> oh, so did that uh, uh, Summit, uh, Farm to Summit meal last night, that three bean chili. That was good. Mm. All right, oh, let me get some coffee. So makes up to 16 cups, so... Let's see, calling all at home baristas. <laughs> uh, craft the perfect cup of, perfect cup in seconds, just one tablespoon for super concentrate. Okay, so we got Americano, six ounces of hot water, one tablespoon of concentrate, iced coffee. Oh, so you can make, uh, Regular coffee, iced coffee, latte. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, I got a little bit more than six ounces of water. I think that was a tablespoon. <laughs> yeah. You can use one to two tablespoons, it says. But I'm just taking a quick little measure. Ooh, that looks good. That was quick. Salute. Good morning. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty good. So I said I was going to put cream in it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. Yep, I just got that powdered milk. Yeah, that's pretty good coffee. I took the headlamp off. <laughs> Walking around with a headlamp on. It's the middle of the morning, <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm going to finish eating my breakfast, drink my coffee, then, hey, we got to get packed up and get on out of here. 
Oh, this Ridgeline light was cool last night. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it flew right over. <laughs> Coming after my blueberries. <laughs> oh, he landed in the tree way over there. He's a hollering. Okay, give our spot a once over, see how it looks. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Every once in a while, I hear about people leaving their uh, ridge line on the tree because that's the last thing you take down is the ridge line. First thing you put up, last thing you take down. <laughs> so there's been a many uh, ridge lines left in the trees. All right, so all we've got to do now is hike on out of here. All right, now I can get my trekking poles ready. Okay. Man, this was a great spot. I want to say, hey, thanks a lot for coming along. I really appreciate it. I enjoy every time we get out here uh, and get to camp. This was a great camp. I tell you what, the overnight the snow melted some. And it's getting to be spring. And this has got to be a, a flyway for Canadian geese. I've been hearing them. All night, all yesterday, all morning this morning. Oh, I gotta comb my beard. All right, well, hey, the only thing we gotta do yet is cue the music. There it is. <laughs> oh, and geese. <laughs> all right, so hey, thanks a lot for coming. <laughs> thanks a lot for coming along. <laughs> Having trouble talking this morning. All right, so remember, it's just one adventure at a time. If you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. All right, again, uh, hey, well, if you think about it, and if you haven't done it yet and you've been watching and haven't hit that subscribe button, would you consider doing it? Maybe hit that like button too, and well, why not? Hit the notification bell, <laughs> all right? Uh, that way you'll get notified anytime we do a video. And you never know what we're going to be doing. We can be car camping, stealth camping, dispersed camping, hammock camping, camping in an abandoned building. Well, I don't know what we're going to do next. So for now, Tony 2.0.